in this movie we will start working on the basic header and footer that we need in every single file later in this course so this basic.html in this file I'm gonna remove all of these headings that we added in the last movie and now first of all we will start with the basic nav bar so adding the comment here so for adding the nav bar we need nav tag and this nav tag will have bootstrap class of nav bar and I want this nav bar to expand on larger screen that's why I added expand dash lg and inside this navigation I will have one div with the class of container which is also a bootstrap class so basically container add a bit of margin at the left position and at the right so if I show you real quick how a container look like in bootstrap if I add a custom style and I give it some height let's say 10 px and background to be red one if I save this one and let me show you how our container is gonna look like you can see that this container have added couple of margin at the left position and also at the right position so we will add our navigation starting from here starting from here that's why I added this container so that we will have a margin on the right side and also on the left side so for the brand of our navigation I can add one anchor tag and this anchor tag will have a bootstrap class of nav bar dash brand and for the link let's add hash for now and here I'm gonna add text to be jazebakram.com so this will be the brand name of our website if I save this one and refresh my page you can see jazebakram.com right here you can see this jazebakram.com has a blue color due to the link so I'm gonna stick with the white color so let's open this CSS folder now inside this CSS folder I'm gonna add our file with the name of styles.css inside this file I'm gonna define that all the anchor tag must have a color of white and now let's link this file with this basic.html so right after this bootstrap CSS link we will have another link so the target will be the address inside my CSS folder go for this styles.css file so if I refresh my page you can see we got jazibakram.com in the white color so this will be our brand okay so this will be the our brand inside this nav tag inside the container we will have our unordered list that will have a bootstrap class of nav bar dash nav and this list will have couple of list items and every single list item will have a bootstrap class of nav dash item and inside every single item we will have one anchor tag that will have hash for now and a class of nav dash link now let's add this list item couple of times so copying this one and pasting it couple of times so one two three four five six and seven let's add 
the text for each of link so the first link will be my profile the second one will be dashboard then we will have posts then categories manage admins comments and live blog now every single one will have a link that will take us to profile page dashboard page or post page so adding the expected file name so my profile dot php dashboard dot php post dot php categories dot php admins dot php comments dot php and blog dot php and we will have pagination later in our blog so we will start our blog with the page is equal to one if you don't know anything about it right now you don't have to worry at all because later when we will create pagination for our blog you will understand it on a fly so don't worry about it so let's save this file and now let's refresh our page you can see all of these links here we can add color to our navigation bar so right here in our nav tag i can add bootstrap class of bg dash dark that will add the black background to our navigation you can see the black color to our navigation and if you want to have a blue background you can add the bootstrap class of primary that will add the blue background if you want to add background to be green one you can have bootstrap class of success that will have a green effect at the background similarly you can also add yellow one with the bootstrap class of warning and also you can have a gray background if you apply bootstrap class of scandry so i will stick with basic color that is that is bg dash dark let's remove this red color because i just wanted to demonstrate what's the width of our container so we don't need this anymore so i'm gonna remove all of this style now let's save this one and refresh my page you can see our whole navigation looks a bit better you can see these list items are floating at the right position so you can add a margin to the right side and you can make the margin to auto so right on this ul tag i'm gonna add margin from the right side to auto so in bootstrap if you want to add the margin you can mention class of m and if you want to add the margin to the right side you can have a class of mr if you want to add the margin to the left you will have a class of ml if you want to add the margin at the top you will have a class of mt if you want to add the margin to the bottom you will have a class of mb so m mean margin and b means bottom so i will add the margin from the right side to be auto one so that all of our list item to float at the left side you can see it looks better right now right after this unordered list i will have one more unordered list that will have a class of nav bar dash nav and here we'll have 
list items and inside our list item we will have our anchor tag so we will have one simple list item as a logout so all of our list items will be here and then we will have one logout button right at the right position so this one will have address of logout.php and its anchor tag will have a class of nav dash link same what we did here and the list item will have a class of nav dash item a bootstrap class so if i refresh my page now you can see logout button right here and as we made all of these ones to have a right margin auto margin so this list item will have margin left to be auto one so that it would float at the left position all the time okay great now in the next movie we will add the icon to each list items wherever we need and i will show you how you can add icon in latest bootstrap release